everyone, I am Kaleopi and today I'm gonna show you how to create these DIY gifts for your loved ones. I want to create something that looks expensive and elegant but using affordable materials. So everything you will see today is created with air dry clay. Starting off with the first form, as always you have to spread out your clay and use the rolling pin to create an even layer and then also use your hand to smooth out the surface so you don't have to do many work later. I tried to use the ruler to cut the clay straight without ruining my desk but that didn't work very well so I went with a paper cutter and pressed softly. And I have to say, no desk was harmed in this video. Since we're going for a desk pot like a pencil holder or brass holder, I created a long rectangular shape which I will now try to make it sit. Make sure your clay is around half centimeter thickness so it is strong and it will not break easily. And now the whole process is trying to smooth out the connection part of the two ends and always have in mind to keep your form round and that your clay sits straight. At first press softly at the two sides and also use some water to make the clay stick better. And then you can continue working with it using some wooden modeling tools that you can easily find at any craft store like all the materials mentioned in this video. So again I'm just pushing the clay into one another using wrapping and pinching and just trying to blend the two sides together. Always having a bowl of water and a soft brush by my side to smooth out any parts. And for the bottom of the pot you just spread out a small part of clay, you place your previous piece on top of it and then cut it around to create the shape and size of your required bottom. Make sure to make it a little bit bigger in order for you to have some extra clay around so you can push it up and connect the two parts. I also created two holes since I knew that I want to add some type of handle later on. A really helpful tool in order for you to cover some cracks or some spots that are not fully smooth is grabbing a small part of clay on your finger and then wetting it and gently touch the parts that you want to fix and then your wet clay will melt and get into those cracks and fill them in. And just like that, our first clay pot, desk holder, vase or whatever you are about to do with it is ready and you can just let it dry. Moving on to my second form, I did exactly the same things but I just made the pot taller and a bit thicker because I want to test out if making it thicker is better and I have to say that no, going around 1cm is way too thick for this size. So stick to around half centimeter, and you will be fine. It was a lot harder to work with it and make it smooth but later on when we get to the sandpaper part I will show you how you can save something that doesn't look very well. Moving on to the next form which is basically a tray for jewelry or a bowl for stationary stuff. I grabbed a small plate or a small bowl from my house and used it as a reference to cut around the circle and also place the clay on top of it so I can give it the form I wanted and let it dry. Also make sure to use the food sleeve protection between the bowl and the clay so you can remove the clay afterwards very easily. Again, use your fingers, water and some brush to smooth out the surface so you don't have to do a lot of work with the sandpaper later on. Working with clay and just materials that are raw and earthy and lets you get dirty and you know, just working with mud and water, the whole feeling of creating and 
Making a mess around your desk was the best part of this whole process and the best feeling and you have to try it. It was so healing, no matter the result. Playing with the material that we are familiar with since we were kids, but now understanding the power of it was amazing. After letting everything dry completely for about two days, now we can finally use the sandpaper and make everything looking perfect and smooth, but yeah, if you don't want to do this, you can easily skip it and keep everything as it is, but I just want to go the extra mile and make everything looking professional and expensive as I said before. So I went ahead and made everything smooth and also made sure that the top parts were really straight like they were cut and i'm warning you this part is very dusty and very you know everything will get everywhere but for me it was worth it since as you can see i saved a lot of them after they have dried there were many cracks and bumps but with some paper i used one rough and one very thin and not very grainy and using these two just made all the clays look super smooth And now it is time to start painting our creations and making them look unique and extra special. Since we need to make everything waterproof, we are going to use acrylic paints, permanent markers and also a varnish at the end to seal everything and make it waterproof. Starting off with the terracotta clay, I was sure from the beginning that I want to make them look dark brown, like raw amber color and remove this orangey basic clay color. So the bowl and the first holder, I covered them completely with color, but on the second holder, I decided to do some brass work and just leave some of the original terracotta color to sew off. And this whole design is inspired, I mean, heavily inspired by Hand and Fire from Instagram. She creates those dark raw brown clay creations with brass strokes, and I just want to recreate it and also do my own spin on it. Right about here, I have to say that air dry clay is not safe for food, so everything you create is like bowls and trays, all for decorative reasons and just to place objects and stuff in them and not food. So after the acrylic color has dried, I went ahead with a white acrylic and started creating those brass strokes that I was talking about. I made sure I thinned out my paint quite a bit so it gets runny and more easy to work and just let it do the brush strokes. Also, of course, for this technique, it is really helpful to have one of those really cheap brushes that have rough hair that makes the brush strokes even more out there. And lastly, I took the brass and the white paint and just started to create some splashes and some spots as I wanted to also give this spotted clay effect that is all over Instagram and Pinterest, which I think gives a really nice grainy and vintage look, but also really modern. As these are drying, I'm moving on to the white tray 
and for this one I went with a floral design that it is very easy to create with only just one small brush and just creating small leaves all around in a circle using a very muted and dark green. And the whole thing turned out like an olive branch which was perfect. And it wouldn't be me if I didn't add gold paint all over everything that you have to layer at least three times in order for it to look good and then of course adding it on all the edges of everything I created. And I have to say this is the part that makes everything look so elegant and expensive and you can always just skip it but in my opinion gold acrylic paint will make everything look so much better. And of course finishing it off with some spots for the overall spotted look. Another way to add gold embellishments to your objects is using gold leaf. Grabbing just a super glue, I went ahead and just added gold leaf on abstract parts all over the objects with not much thinking about it. And boom, just like that, by using a material that is worth like $5 for 25 sheets, you made everything look so much better and so elegant and expensive. Now the most satisfying part of all, adding the varnish and make everything look glossy and the colors pop. While making sure that your creation is waterproof and it can handle a little bit of dust and cleaning with a damp cloth. Make sure you add at least two layers with a half minute break between them. And yes, we're almost done, just need to create the handles for the pots. I used some soft brass wire that you get for about $1 per meter or even cheaper. Cut out the length I needed but in double since I want to use two of them to create each handle. Used the round shape of the pot to make the oval shape of the handle and then bended the ends to create the grips with my fingers and generally this wire is so soft that you can easily cut and manipulate it with your fingers. And of course secured the ends by bending the wire upwards. On the first one as a final touch I also added twine around the wire to make it even more soft at this part. Or you can just even make the wire a bit longer and then just wrap it around itself to have a finishing look. And I will also show you more ideas and more ways to paint and decorate the clay models. Because as I mentioned before, you can also use permanent markers that we all have in our homes. So let's see everything and have the full reveal.
But before we go, thank you so much for being here and watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button since it means the world. And till next time, have a super duper day. Bye!